Okay, let's um, let's do some stuff on segments here. We might start with just some basic setups, and then we'll kind of get into the more advanced stuff as we go. Um, for every before you even play with segments, um, I know people who have issues with them. Usually, the problem is is if you go into your LED preferences, make sure that each output of your controller is set to the proper, or like you have the right amount of LEDs set to each output. Because if you don't, it'll just screw up everything you do in the segments. It, it won't line up with the the numbers you're trying to use. So just double check, make sure you're, you know your GPIO 16's got 60 lights on it. GPIO 17's got 52 lights on it. Double check that, save it, and if, as long as you got that set up, um, you should be good to go. So just go back, and we'll have a little look through here. So right now you can see I got everything all white. So we can drop our segments down. So like your standard, your, you know, your segment zero will be your default segment that I'm using right now. So if you use your little drop down menu there, you can see um, all the stuff you got here. So, it's, you know, you start LED where you want to start the segment, where you want to stop that segment, offset, grouping, spacing. So we'll, we'll do grouping and spacing first because that's pretty easy. Um, most people use this for architectural lighting and stuff since I use it. A lot you can see I have on the side of my my um, uh, my presets I got white 1 by 3 white 1 by 5 white 2 by 4s so if you did like say a grouping so if you group two lights together and you space them two lights apart hit apply you'll see how it changes there um, so yeah your grouping is how many lights in a group so you know, obviously four there's gonna be four lights in a group and then the spacing is gonna be the distance apart from each light. So if you hit there, then you got four lights on, space in between is four. And then we got start LED is zero, stop LED 112. So that's my full range of lights. That's all the lights I wanna control. And that's, you know, that's what I want. So normally you set this up. So if I did like a one by three, so I got one light on, or I think that's how that one is. Yeah, so I got a grouping one and space three apart. So you put that in and then you save it as a preset and then you set that up on a timer. It comes on at night, turns off when you want it. I actually have all white starting at the beginning of the night. And as the night progresses, it gets less and less lights until about three in the morning and then it shuts off completely. But yeah, anyways, so that's, that's kind of your basic fun functions for segments. Now we'll start um, creating more segments. So we just did this in you know, just your default segments. Now we'll add some segments and play around with that. So I'll just go back to all white, get it all set up like that. So now you can go, so say we'll have segment zero, start LED zero and stop LED 20. So on my lights, I go, I have it set up. So my first LED starts at the far left side and then my 112th LED is on the far right side. So if I put zero to 20 and hit apply, it's gonna just section off that one portion right there. So let's add another segment. We're gonna say, it's gonna just automatically gonna say, you know, probably gonna to wanna to start at 20 and we'll stop at 40. So we'll create another segment there. So you can see that's going. And I actually have candy cane going on that one for some reason. And so there we go, we got two segments, we got segment zero, segment one. So if I wanna stop that, I can just, well, let's, let's add one more. So now we got segment two, start LED 40, stop LED 60, hit apply. There, I actually was playing with this earlier and I set these up like this. So that's why it's doing all that crazy stuff. But that shows you that you can have something different happening on every segment. So if I wanna get that, like segment two on the far right side there, doing all that crazy stuff, I'm just gonna make that solid green so you see I check segment two and uncheck the other one. So if I want to make a change to one segment, make sure the other ones are unchecked because whatever change, whatever's checked, that change will happen to those segments. So segment one, I want to stop candy cane from going on there. You can see that's going. So I'll just hit solid there as well. And it'll be purple. You can change it to green or whatever you want to do. I'll put it back to purple, but you can see how it, now it's divided that out into three different sections, which is pretty sweet. Um, so you can get an idea there, how that can be used. 
So here's something else you can do. So if you take and delete these segments out, these ones I just put in, let's delete those ones. Now let's say, um, so I got zero to 20. And there's this little button down here. If you click on it, it says repeat until end. So it'll just click it and it'll create segments of 20. So this one's 20 to 40, 40 to 60, 60 to 80. So it'll do that right across the whole strip to the end. So now you can play around with all your different colors. So let's say there's a hot tub there right in the kind of the middle of there. It's kind of green there right now. So say I want to have all white lights except for where the hot tub is. So I think that would probably be segment, the hot tub would be segment three and four probably. So I'll go segment zero, segment one, segment two, and segment four. Five, I want to be just white. No, oh, I got that wrong. Segment two, actually. So let's uncheck that. So where the hot tub is must be segment two, segment three. So let's change that green there. So now I got a green where the hot tub is and white everywhere else. So I'm gonna save that, say like, you know, I just want it green where the hot tub is and white everywhere else. So I'll just save that one as a preset. I'll say hot tub, oh, I can't spill, hot tub, green, and save that. So now you can see if I go back to like all white, whatever you click on, those segments go back. So then when I hit hot tub green, I get all those segments again, and then, you know, I get a green hot tub. This works really nice if you have like a peak in your house and stuff like that. I might've said that already, I'm not sure, but if you do, then you can separate out that, that peak and make it any color you want, which is super handy. Uh, what else should we go over? Um, yeah, so let's look at this here. So if we go segment zero and one, well, let's even go with segment two. We'll just play around here. So let's put that on, I don't know. Whoops, what happened there? Oh, <laughs> my time. It just hit 10 o'clock, so my automatically my timer changed it to the um, one of my presets, my two by fours. So we'll just go back to hot tub green here. And I'll take these check marks off and I'll put it back on zero, one, and two. And we'll put it on, yeah, we'll just say candy cane. So it's running there. And now you can even for like say segment two, if you want to reverse the direction, you click that and it'll start going the other way. You can see that one on the end there just changed and there it goes the other way. You can, you know, if you need to make them all flow together, you can play with this there now you can see they're all flowing together or you can mirror where they like come into themselves yeah there's quite a bit you can do there but um so that's kind of covers a lot of it i'm just trying to think if there's anything else i can show you guys but i think that's more or less the just of it you can just basically do anything Seg segment it out into where however many pieces you want and you know the architectural lighting sweet that's kind of the main thing people use segments for but there's just endless things you can do if i can think of something else i'll add it to this video but for now i think this covers most of it thanks